Hey guys, it's Amy. I just wanted to take a few minutes this evening and to show you the altered art project I've been working on for my friend Robin. Robin uh, needed a sign, I thought, for her little crafty spot. Something she could, uh, you know, put up wherever she's crafted at. I put um, a ribbon hanger on it. It's hung now. So that, you know, she can hang it on the on the wall or whatever or she can put it on one of these little easel stands just you know whatever she wants to do with it um, first thing I did was take two pieces of very thick chipboard and uh, I glue them back to back to make one really strong piece I, I wanted it to be very sturdy and then I painted the background piece with this espresso dauber paint and then I went over that with to get the crackle background went over it with the crackle medium and then I painted it with this folk art vintage white and then I uh, painted the back in the vintage white too but I didn't do the crackle on the back um, then I used the casera sera paper line and y'all forgive my hands I've got arts and crafts hands today so please forgive me overlook my poor hands so um, I took this case raw sorrel paper and I ripped the edge and then I used some of this uh, folk art metallic paint and champagne love this paint it's beautiful put that around the edges um, mounted the whole piece let me back up so you can see I mounted this whole piece on foam board to give it some depth and uh, see then um, this paper here I ripped and went around the edges with vintage photo and you know kind of stressed the edges and that paper is from this GCD studios Melody Ross uh, homespun it's homespun chic chic my bad homespun chic and this is a beautiful beautiful paper pad it's just so pretty and girly and uh, it's glittered and flocked it's just so pretty anyway that's my opinion <laughs> um, okay so most of the flowers that you're seeing on here I made um, with the exception of these like this one right here and they they're polymer clay they start out as a white polymer clay that I use glimmer mist on and then I used that champagne color of paint and rubbed over the top there's that one there and like a red color then there's this one here in turquoise on the side and down in here there's that yellow one, a light purple, uh, the burnt red, that's just a ribbon flower, and down here on the very bottom is a, is a dark purple, and I did each one of them with the paint over the edges. Um, and the other ones that I did not make are these white ones here, and they're on like this ribbon I, it's from off right and I just trimmed them off you know just trimmed one off at a time and, and glued them in there so this is one that I made here and let's see this one I made and this one this is a ribbon flower I made and this is a prima center this is a little glass uh, greenery leaf um, this one is one I made this is uh, using the prima flowers like the e-line flowers except the ones that are color and you use them in various sizes and stack them together to get this look there's that one there this purple one here and this purple one behind here 
there. Those are all Prima flowers that I stacked. These are some twisted ribbon, some swirled up and cinched up in the back. This one's got like a pink in the center, pink purple color. Um, so those are all my flowers. It's got some Prima bling on it. Um, I believe these glitter stickers are making memories or something. They're an old, no, I'm sorry, they're EK Success and they're like an older set, but I liked them so much. I bought a ton of them when they had them out. Here's another one of my little bitty flowers. See that little fella? <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it um, for the front. I put some, uh, some trim across the bottom, some braided trim. And this is vintage lace um, from my stash that I hoard very, very, very much. Keep it very close to the chest, as I say. I'm a hoarder of the vintage. Okay, I will show you the back here. I'm trying to flip it around. So for the back, I um, glimmer misted that envelope to keep the tag in. Here's the tag. Let me just lay this out here where you can see it. Sorry, that's not working very well. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't mean to make you guys sick with my awful camera skills. This stamp is from um, Girls Papery. This Paper Girl stamp set. See there? It's this one right here. I know you've seen it. I, I Everybody has this stamp set, I believe. So that's that one. And uh, the tag stamp is um, Autumn Leaves. This is some more of my little handmade flowers. A road rolled ribbon flower um, and a couple of other ones and then I just put some uh, lace across the bottom with some trim and um, put a few ribbons in the top and then stamped it on the back so um, I got a couple more goodies to go with this and I'm not going to give it away since she hasn't seen this yet, but I had them in that envelope and then they wouldn't stay, so it was making the envelope way too big. So I had to put them in a separate package, so Robin, if you're looking at this, make sure you look for the extra package, okay? <laughs> it'll be inside this box, but this, it'll be little, don't throw it away. So anyway, my battery's dying and I've got to go. So that's my project. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye.